What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Jules88, bringing the good, bad, and the oh, so ugly. Another video. I told y'all I got y'all. Mondays and Thursdays, I told y'all I got y'all. I'm true by my word. That means I ain't going to lie to you. But anyway, so the Monday, when I dropped my video, I got asked about my mental health. How's everything been going on with mental health? Uh, during COVID and everything. We're like on the tail ends of COVID now. <sighs> but um, my homegirl asked me about it. And um, I don't really talk about mental health. Um, not to be like, oh, I'm too macho. I don't like, not a uh, black folk don't talk about mental health. Not that, I just don't. I like to just stay to myself when it comes to like stuff like that. I just like just staying to myself, just, you know, self Focusing on myself, really like, like, getting myself together. And I know in some cases that's probably not the best thing to do, but I do what works for me, and that works. Like, just being to myself and just focusing on what I got going on, that's what helps me stay sane. And my boy, got Sarah Top, Victor, and his new wife, Sham Breaker, Sham, they got married June 19th. And... Leading up to the wedding, I've been out before, like not going out like to have a good time or nothing, but normally the most I do, I go to the grocery store and come back home. Maybe I may pop up to the mall, you know, hell me, hell, me and my mom just start going out to eat again like a few months ago. So we just started going back out eating in restaurants again. And like, I still haven't been around people. I, I mean, it sounds weird. Like, I haven't been around. I mean, to be around people, I haven't been around people, people. Like, people that I know. And the week of my birthday, on the 16th, I was at the mall. I saw my boy, uh, some of my boys. And literally, I forgot everything. I literally, it's the first time I shook anybody's hand, hugged anybody. Like, yo. Dapped him up. How you doing, bro? And I'm like, oh, snap. Uh, thinking about, oh, shit, COVID. Nah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm like, oh, snap. It, it, it slipped my mind. But just to have that interaction with somebody, like, yo. That's like, yo, that was so, like, refreshing to talk to somebody face-to-face -face that I know personally. And then that uh, Saturday, I went to the wedding like it was hugs, it was hugs McGee, and they're like, "Yo, handshakes, hugs, everything." It's like, "Yo, it felt to be around friends and family." The energy that was given off at that wedding was just amazing. Like it felt so good, and it it was like, for me, I'm like, it felt like a extra shot of adrenaline. Like it was that extra boost to go that extra mile in the race like you running and you remember something that somebody told you to get an extra boost to go to x you about to cave or you know you know about to lose it because i'm like let's be real for the main for the most of us people who've been sticking to the social distance guidelines and like just not being around people and just either going to work go coming home Grabbing some food, coming back home. Going to the store, coming back home. You know, little things like that. You know, but it's like that interaction to be around and sit down, break bread and smile and laugh. And it's like, damn, like, you know what I mean? It's one of them things. And I, and I feel, after all that, it felt, I felt relieved. Like, I really did miss all my friends. Like, I really did. I missed, literally missed out on so much stuff. I mean, going into last year when it all happened, I didn't do nothing for my birthday. That, but that really bummed me out, you know. But my mom, she um, she cooked me some food and whatnot. But then this year, the same thing. Didn't do nothing for my birthday. It's like just not being able to do music. I mean, I can record music, but I do shows and everything. Uh, was really a bummer. Like I can't. I feel like a piece. I feel like I lost a big piece of me. 
I feel like a lot of musicians lost that piece. Cause I remember um, uh, my homegirl, Nicole, she was like, yo, the last show she did, and she just did her first show, live show a few, a month ago in June. And just to hear everybody saying, like, it feels so good to be back on stage. And hear, hearing all my musician friends, like, yo, I can't wait to get back on stage, man. I can't wait to start rocking again. And that's 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 just how it is. You want to be able to, like, yo, I want to get back on stage and interact. It's like people ask me, oh, are you still doing IG Lives? Like, I tell people, no, I do not do that anymore. I, I, I tapped out on IG Lives when I started it. Like, the day I started it, that was the last day. I tried it one. I tried it once. It went good. The next day, it did the next time. It didn't work. I was done. It was, I was done early. I, I was done. And... You, it's like you just can't gauge, you can't gauge interaction in real time. It's not like in real time. It's delayed. You don't know what's really working. You don't know what's really. Did they? Did they? Did they, do they are they feeling this song? Are they not? You know what I mean? But um, yeah. Like mentally, I'm in a great space. Like I try. I'm not the person. I don't really get bummed out like that. Like. I don't really get bummed to the point of, oh, man. You know, I don't, I'm not a moper. I'm not a whiner. I don't, I, I, I fuss a lot. Don't get it to, I fuss. Oh, I'm fussing McGee. Like, I'm at that age. Like, I fuss now. I'm like, yeah, I'm fussing for no damn reason. At that time, like, yo, I'm fussing. You know what I mean? <laughs> I fuss. Like, I fuss like a mug now. Like, that's one thing. I didn't fuss a lot till COVID. I fuss now. Like, I get, fr I fuss. Like, I be sounding like my mama. Like, I be fussing. But um, other than that, like, I try to, like, just stay, you know, po I try to stay positive. That's what, that's my thing. I like to stay positive in certain situations. I try to stay as positive. I don't try to, like I said, I don't try to mope and, like, oh, my gosh, woe is me. I mean, like, I feel like this at this point, I be like, when it first, like, Everybody sad. Like, ain't no need for me to be mobile. What am I mobile about? Everybody and me all in the same boat. So, ain't no need for me. Like, yo, it's like everybody outside in the summertime. We all hot. Like, man, we all hot. We all out here. Like, what are you for? Well, what are you complaining about? I'm hot too. You know what I mean? Like, we all hot. You know, or we ain't ate yet. Everybody's hungry. We ain't ate since this morning. I mean, we all hungry. You're not the only one. You know? And I think going. Slowly, since COVID is slowly, we like slowly on the tail ends of it, it's slowing. Everything is slowly dying down now. It's slowly burning, turning now. It's like, I think it's going to be, for some people, it's going to be real awkward going back out and mingling with people. It's going to be kind of, oh my gosh, what now? Like, how do I talk to this person? Like, what do I do? Like, this is weird. Like, I haven't been had human interaction just to shake somebody's hand and embrace somebody like that is that was like the most warming moment for me like it was so soothing because that bro hug that hug like yo man how you doing i missed you you know tell somebody you really missed them like because it's different from sit talking to somebody over zoom it's different to talking in person, cause like when you with your friends, like everybody laughing and I ah, having a good time, hugging and just leaning on each other, like just all kinds of ignorant stuff when you around people, and to be able to do that is amazing. That felt great, and that did wonders for my just me mentally, like you know. But like I said, I'm not like a big moper, and I know a lot, but I know a lot of people did get down in the dumps during this time like and for those people I hope they did find the help that they needed to get through this you know um I know my boy watching right now my boy Galaxy what's up bro um like we um he hit me up like I ain't gonna bore no detail like we, we got back in contact he was like just explaining to me everything was going on in his life I'm like bro I told you I got you man you ain't it, it you know what I mean? I told you I got you. I ain't got to worry about it. And I always got you. You my boy. We like you my boy forever, bro. We got I got you. Hands down, ten toes. You know what I mean? So 
it, it, it it's like to 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 be able to interact with people again and just talk to people again and just hear what they went through and how they dealt with it because it's like it's that's how I felt in the beginning like months like how you did them how everything going when I would start doing my little coffee with Jones shop like that's the first time I used to leave like how you been dealing with COVID man how that been going man like how how you been it's like and I used to say and I'm gonna get up out of here I just want to I hope now that everything is, pray to God that it's going, I don't know what y'all believe in, what you follow, whatever, but me, Christian, and I just pray to God that everything slowly pans back to normal because, like I say, the world doesn't, it's not supposed to move like this, you know. I can say the positive, like I told my mom, like the positive things that came out of this was that, I built, I built my home studio, got my own stuff, got every, got my studio equipment, and started recording music on my own because I can't go to my boy Altitude House to record during that time. What up, Altitude? Was good, bro. Um, I know you probably watch. And it's it's one of the things where we, the little thing that we took it took for granted was for a year was gone. You know, and it's like, and then I say this before, and it's, everybody used to say there's not enough time in the day. Now we had all that time. Now it's going to get back to the point where people going to be like, man, ain't enough time in the day, nigga. We just had a whole year of time. And when they ain't about to get back to normal, people going to be saying there's not enough time. And that's all I got to say about that, man. My mental health is amazing now. Um, I hope everybody is doing great. In the comments, let me know how you're doing with mental health. Are you good? I hope you did. Let me know in the comments. We can talk. And um, yeah, that's about it, y'all. See y'all next week. Peace.